of analog switch off and second part roll out of digital switch over. So you are welcome because before you come I met with my colleagues and I told them that you know you request for this audience. Before you continue let me start by introduction. Let me start from my right hand pleasure and my privilege to be here today to pay you a courtesy visit, part of which is to intimate you on the progress so far made in respect to the digital switchover and especially the rollout second phase of the rollout, which uh, will commence in Lagos on Thursday to 29th of April. Mr. Chairman and distinguished you know, senators, please permit me to let you know that I'm here with other members of the Ministerial Task Force. On my far left is uh, Mr. Ebom, who said you mentioned something very important, but important thing cannot be done without financing. Number one, I need to know the source of funding, you know, to change this from digital, I mean, yeah, from analog to digital. That is number one. Number two, I'm very, very happy to hear that all these things you are doing it because of our people, for the benefit of Nigeria. You mentioned, you know, we are expecting employment from 1 million to 50 million, you know, workers, in which is very, very good idea. So, I think um, if we make it that way, because you said if the project started, it will last for, I think, three years, if I get you right. So, now, I don't think there is any problem for that if the funding is okay and where the funding comes from. So if it is okay for us, I think um, it's something very simple for us to support it. In terms of bill, that one is very simple also. We'll see a way that we can try to put this to the committee of the whole for their approval. Thank you very much. Let me go back to my colleagues, maybe they have something to contribute or a question to ask. Um, Honorable Minister, let me uh, start by commending uh, you and uh, the federal government for this innovation. I think uh, it's long overdue because uh, we've been on the same thing for so many years. The same NTA I watched in 1960-something, 1970, is the same we are watching today. And uh, it is also heartwarming to hear from you that this will come with some content enhancement so that you can also compete with the DSTVs and the other uh, 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 entertainment uh, and news channels. Now, as uh, representatives of the people, uh, my first concern is, I don't think Nigerians are aware of what is going on. Because I'm, I'm hearing for the first time that this uh, lofty idea is uh, taking place in virtually all the states. And you are rolling out in uh, all the states. So I think uh, going forward, we need more education of the Nigerian uh, people, the populace, so that they can key into this your rollout uh, program. Now you talked about uh, uh, job creation, 
my concern also as a representative is you didn't tell us clearly for the sake of emphasis how you plan to create these jobs and how you plan to create wealth with this innovation. How do you carry the business people? How would they be part of this? And how will you create the jobs directly and indirectly so that we'll be better informed and as well inform our constituents? Thank you very much. Materials about Gulda, about Bombita, is for products that will be consumed by Nigerians. And these products are also made in Nigeria. So we said no. If the product you want to advertise is made in Nigeria or produced in Nigeria or the service that will provide in Nigeria, then you must ensure that the advertisement, the reproduction is made in Nigeria so we can employ our own people. But in the event that you don't listen, for every broadcast of that advert, you will pay 100,000 Naira surcharge. And I'm glad to say that since we introduced that, a lot of Nigerians have commended us because a particular company wanted to go and do a photo shoot in Brazil. Because this code was amended, they did it in Nigeria and gave the job, which was 10 million naira, to a Nigerian you know, product, a production film, a, a team, and the model was given to a Nigerian for another 5 million. So we believe that this is the only way you can grow your own local content. So then we also made this provision that it's not enough for you to see that this is a Nigerian a local program. Because it's this belt, this belt between 7 p.m. in the evening and 11 is when most people watch television. So we made a law that within that belt, whether it is news, whether it is a film, whether it is a series, 60% of that program must be local. And we will now further define local. Local means one, that the author, the producer, and director are all Nigerians. Two, that 75% of the lead actor and supporting actor must be Nigerians. Then 75% also of all expenses, post-production, and during production must be consumed in Nigeria. To do that way, we are going to also build the expertise of Nigerians. Uh, another area we think we have created wealth is in the area of advertisements. Before now, sir, um, advertisers would not pay money to television stations or to content owners. So we now made a law that after 60 days of placing an advertisement on NTA, on LTV, or TVC, if you don't pay after 60 days, every platform in Nigeria, whether it's a film, will buy you from, that, from further advertisement. In addition, you have to pay the television station. That way, the TV houses and the content owners would be able to pay their own staff. The content owners will be glad they have more money also to make more, uh, you know, more, 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 more program. And then finally, we spoke about audience measurements. So today, there is no scientific method of knowing which program actually commands more eyeballs. How do you know which television program you want to advertise on? If I'm selling you know, say, children wears. I want to know which television station in Nigeria, at what time do most people watch it. So this is why we are setting up an audience measurement system that will guide 
advertisers who guide manufacturers to know that, look, if you put an advert on this program at 7 o'clock in the morning, or 7 o'clock at night, 3 million Nigerians will watch it. There are some programs that simply command more eyeballs than others. So that way, again, we are helping you know, advertising, creating revenue, and creating jobs for, for Nigeria. So I hope, I, I hope I've you know, answered the questions. Yes, Honorable Minister, I think uh, you've done... Yes, and I would rather uh, allow this representative of the set-top box manufacturer, who himself is a manufacturer, who, has a mani who manufactures in Calabar, to please answer that question, sir. Distinguished Chairman, the question is, the, 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 the boxes are sold to distributors and distributors to retailers and retailers to the end users. Also, the, there are also shops that you can buy these boxes and also market. So the process is very simple. Those who want to be dealers should go to the website, either of the free TV website or gospel website, or even the digital website, you see the names of dealers and distributors. And anybody who wants to be a dealer and distributor is open to every Nigerian. All you need to do is either go to the NBC website, to DT website, to free TV website, to Godswell, or any of the manufacturing website, and you see phone numbers there, and you just call. It doesn't require anything, and they'll make you a dealer or a distributor. So that's the process. For Lagos right now, the distributors are there. We're also going ahead to train people from city to city, even as we appear there. Thank you very much, sir. Our presentation is very informative, but I have a question. I am worried uh, as regards to how optimistic are you that this program, as is designed now, will succeed in the midst of high-level competitors that we have at the moment. You mentioned uh, that the decoders uh, and the users will pay once. But later on, you said there will be annual access fees to be paid. So what is the difference between annual access fees and annual subscription? that multi-choice and the other uh, uh, companies are charging now. Because for me, it's just a matter of language. Because you still have to pay money. Whether, it is, uh, uh, whether you call it access fees or whether you call it annual subscription. Because even annual subscription is to enable you have access to the system. So how sure are you that Nigerians will be able to pay the, uh, the uh, no to pay the decoder and then at the same time to pay extra because when that is done they will also look at the drivable value from the money that they are going to part with whether it is commensurate with the actual amount that we will pay in terms of the amount to be paid for the decoder as well as the annual access fees. So, uh, how do you... Hey, my ...understand us that, you know, we have no any problem, we have no objection for digitalizing the system completely. Uh, let me go straight to your later I don't know if you are there with the letter. Let me go and read paragraph two. The second phase is scheduled on 29 April 2021 in Lagos and subsequently in Kano, Rivers, Yobe, Gombe, Imo, Akwaibom, Oyo, Jigawa, Ibonyi, Kasena, Anambra, and Delta State. So, I don't know, you did not uh, clarify that. That is one. Secondly, my second question is all about um, digital system. 
in which you are always mentioning TV, television, TV, television. How about the radio? Because we are all doing it, you know, to generate revenue, to create jobs, as you say, to the people. Why, why did you forget radio? I need more clarification from you, Honorable Minister. Thank you. Ministry of Water, uh, sorry, Federal Ministry of um, Information. You see, we have been trying to digitalize the, the board or their own board of that radio corporation. We tried and tried all in vain. So I don't know what is, you know, so hard for doing that. You can, Honorable Minister is here, DG NBC is here, and other dignitaries, we are all here. Just think over it, add it, so that we work it together. It's a very simple thing. As I said, our population is over 200 million, about 90%, if not 95%, are listening to radio more than television. I'm not saying television's matter is not important, but radio is more important than television. Why? Because I'm always with our people at the grassroots. So I'm telling the fact. So you go and work it out again and include it so that we work it together. Thank you for listening.